I think I see it more of a, um, a trajectory that didn't start with the pandemic. Um, I've, I've had global teams for quite some time, and when you have global teams, you have to work remotely. You can't be in every place uh, all the time. And uh, so those challenges for me in terms of trying to bond with employees, build a sense of team and belonging um, started before the pandemic, but uh, it certainly amped up with the, with the pandemic. And um, I think that uh, it won't ever go away uh, to be co-located. There is a need for human connection, that sense of belonging. You can um, encourage remotely, but it's just not the same as, as when you're all together. There's a sociological framework called strong ties, weak ties. Strong ties are like your immediate network. They're the people you're closest with. It's your family, it's your fellow students, it's your roommate and it's your close coworkers. And weak ties are your extended networks. Well, weak ties are actually usually where you get your sense of culture and belonging. And right now, as a result of people basically living on Zoom calls, your strong ties are probably really strong. So your classmates, your roommates, your parental relationships. Um, but the trouble is the weak ties have become so weak. Jordan, can you talk just a bit more about sort of how those specific tactics that you used to socialize? Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, at first, um, as we started in the pandemic, you know, it was, again, just thinking it was going to be a month or so, maybe a couple of weeks. So we kept things the same, and then we quickly pivoted last year to really think about, you know, how do we make our orientations fully virtual? And maybe it's not just on Mondays. Uh, how do we condense that down to be just a few hours? And then what does that onboarding and, and kind of welcoming plan look like for someone starting virtually that isn't coming to the corporate campus, that has never met their team in person, and so tried to be a little bit more intentional about that. We've also put together some best practices across the corporate campus that leaders can use to onboard team members. So maybe it's you know sending a welcome email out to everyone ahead of time and copying that person so they know that you know they're not going to show up to a Zoom call and people are going to say, who are you and when did you even start at Meijer? Um, little things, like maybe it's sending a little welcome gift basket to their home their first week that has some Meijer branded material and. Uh, their favorite snacks or whatever we know about them. How can we leverage those really personal things? And then as we've moved forward, it's creating you know more informal social connections as a team as well. So not necessarily just meeting to talk about business. Humans need connection wherever we are, whatever environment we're in, and um, and uh, to build teams to create that sense of belonging um, at at work, uh, you have to build trust. And uh, in order to, to do that, um, it's, it's more challenging remotely, um, but you, you've got to go out of your way to be able to foster that. Um, and, and the stress um, will decrease as the trust builds and the sense of belonging um, increases. I also think, um, if we're talking about physical place, it's you have to have a place wherever it is that you can effectively do your work. And sometimes you do want to be alone and focus and you need to be heads down. But if it's a cardboard box on top of your kitchen table so you can stand for a while, <laughs> um, it's, it's uh, not going to be as, uh, um, as effective and it's going to be more stress inducing. So I think that um, wherever that is, having the, um, the right tools, the right environment um, to be able to do your job um, also helps.